Now to our top story tonight, the first ever second gentleman making his first trip to Memphis. Vice President Kamala Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, joining Labor Secretary Marty Walsh to sell President Biden's pricey plans for jobs and families. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder says the two chose to visit what's viewed as a national model for training and child care. I decided to go for it. And it's one of the best things I ever did. Ariel James is talking about her accounting training at the Dr. Benjamin Hooks Job Corps Center in Southwest Memphis. Thursday in this listening session, she shared her experience to second gentleman Doug Emhoff. Please start to notice if you have a question but don't know how to ask it. Emhoff and Labor Secretary Marty Walsh spent Thursday morning touring the center's carpentry workshop. Centers like this are a centerpiece of President Biden's proposed 2.2 trillion American Jobs Plan that would focus on improving infrastructure, expanding broadband, and job training across the next decade. This Job Corps training center, and they have these all over the country, is providing training to young people in, in areas and skills that are much needed uh, to move our economy forward. Thursday, staff pointed out to Emhoff Memphis's Job Corps Center's uniqueness, one of a select few in the country which also offers child care. Expanding access to paid leave, child care, and universal pre-K are the highlights of the Biden administration's $1.8 trillion American Families Plan. The way it is right now is not fair, especially to women and women of color, and that has to change. One of Tennessee's Republican senators, Bill Haggerty, responded to the plans, telling Local 24 News, I welcome the second gentleman to Memphis and hope he sees how the volunteer state created an incredible climate for business, job, and wage growth through fiscally conservative policies. Unlike the path proposed by the Biden administration, full of higher taxes, more regulation, and big government spending. Both the American Jobs Plan and American Families Plan face an uphill challenge in Congress with an evenly divided 50-50 Senate. Earlier this week, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said he expects zero support from Senate Republicans for either proposal at their current price tax. Reporting in Southwest Memphis, Brian Broders, Local 24 News.